So they just ran a background check on me. We'll see if we get the go ahead. So he's checking out my YouTube channel right now, actually. Sure. Cool. So we've been approved. Let's 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 do it. So, Mr. Gorka, we're out here at CPAC today. Uh, why are you out here? Why? Because I have a national radio show, and I broadcast from hey, I broadcast from Radio Row three hours a day today and tomorrow. And because uh, before the president gets here on Saturday, I have the honor of addressing everybody at CPAC Saturday morning. Sure. So the First Amendment is something we all obviously cherish. A lot of times we're seeing in the modern day a lot of these voices are trying to be suppressed. Uh, you know, even sometimes by the right, sometimes by the left. Uh, a lot of times by the left, a lot more. But mostly, uh, yeah, sure. So, do you believe this First Amendment is something that we really need to protect right now? And how do you feel like we can really defend that in the modern day? Oh, absolutely. If you look at the fact that these platforms that through their lobbyists manage to carve out an exemption for themselves as non-publishers, I mean the social media platforms like Twitter, like Facebook, like Instagram, uh, are not liable for anything that happens on their platforms, but think that they get to police the First Amendment rights of Americans by shadow banning, by suspending, or by giving only the vaunted blue check mark to their buddies oh absolutely the first amendment is under assault in ways that we haven't seen in generations in america sure and historically you know this country was founded on first amendment values like the boycott of the tea uh we know when this country was founded we had the montgomery alabama boy bus boycott i'm sure as you know uh what do you think about legislation that's been passed in many states like these 28 states and even on the national level they're trying to pass a lot of these anti-bds laws that violate the first amendment in florida for example the courts have said recently that this is anti-first amendment uh even though they've been passing you know boycott divestment sanction stuff anti what do you think about those anti BDS laws so I I approach the BDS question as not fundamentally an issue of First Amendment. That's a smokescreen. Uh, this is uh, the modern form of anti-Semitism. If you understand the BDS movement's origins and what it's really about, it is a movement to deny the legitimacy of the modern Israeli state. And as such, it is absolutely reprehensible that we have leading lights of the Democrat Party, such as Alexander Ocasio-Cortez, who are proud supporters of the BDS movement. This is just anti-Semitism under a new cloak. So, no, anybody who talks about First Amendment rights, it's a smokescreen. This is the new form of anti-Semitism and needs to be recognized as such and rejected by all decent Americans of any religion. Sure. So you, you agree with the left when they say hate speech is not free speech? No, 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 no. So you're anti-Semitism not protected. You're trying speech? to be very smart here. You're, you're trying to box me into a corner, but you won't be able to do that. Sure. Okay. My first major was philosophy and theology, and I have a PhD in political science. So try as much as you will. This isn't about the First Amendment. It's about anti-Semitism. Hate speech. That's not protected for speech to be anti-Semitic. Let me finish. Let me finish. I'm talking about an ideology. Okay. I'm talking about an ideology that resulted in the deaths of six million Jews in World War II. And we will never allow that to happen again. If you're a Jew, a Christian, or an atheist, I don't care. We will not allow that to happen again. What I'm talking about is the fact that this is not a First Amendment issue. How it's so, a deadly though? ideology. It's a deadly ideology. It is anti-Semitism. It is fascistic. And we reject it. Hate speech. The, the other cloak of hate speech is his speech that I disagree with. I reject the term hate speech. I think it's a, an oxymoron. It's absurd. Hate speech is the, another level, another weapon, another cudgel of the left that they think they can use to silence those they disagree with. Um, and, and let's be, if you want to get really technical here, uh, First Amendment rights to use the vaunted uh, shouting fire in a crowded theater. First Amendment rights aren't absolute. Rights aren't absolute. It protects absolute. you being racist, right? And buying products that yeah, you want to buy. Yeah, but it doesn't protect you from, from being 
covered in the veneer of a decency when in fact you're a Jew-hating anti-Semite. Let's just call these things out for what they are. What we're talking about is misrepresentation. It's about the left being the most racist, centralized form of institutional hatred in America today. How is it that if you want to find public figures who are anti-Semites in Congress, you're going to find them only amongst the Democrats? How is it that Rashida Tlaib, in her first day in Congress, in her official office, goes to the global map and sticks a post this note over Israel and sa says Palestine. That's what we reject. The it's not protected speech, what she did? You don't Again, think that? You're trying to be smart, no, but you're failing. Ask. Okay? I'm trying to ask. No. We reject the ideology that these people represent. Well, you're putting it into you're, legislation, though, that actually infringes on the I'm not putting anything right. in No, but you're saying you support that legislation, yes I'm, or no? I'm not. I, did I say that? So did, you, I say, well, did, so, I that? did I say that? Did I say that? But you're speaking against did it. Did I though. say you're that? Speaking against my I, characterization. I'm talking of it. Of, no, no. Do I'm talking about. I'm talking about misrepresenting an ideological threat that has cost the lives of millions okay. as a First Amendment issue. Well, then it's just, do you, not, it's do just you, wrong. Do you support anti-BDS legislation then? No, I want to see. You no, know, you don't. I want to see the BDS recognized for what it is. But can you answer the question, do you support anti-BDS legislation like the 28 would, states have passed? I would passed? like to see legislation that recognizes the BDS movement for modern anti-Semitism. Okay, but do you support the current anti-BDS legislation? See exactly what it sure. says. If it, if, it's, if it is limiting general right to speech, no. Okay, because right, right now people, We're done. They've, they've, We're done. they've turned turned away disaster relief, federal disaster relief from people who wouldn't sign a pledge Dude, to not the buy. BDS is modern anti-Semitism, and that's my issue. So you, end of story. You don't. So you're okay end with people being denied disaster relief if they wouldn't sign a pledge? I, I'd have to that see. Happened the in the state of Texas. I'd have to see the papers. I'd have to see how the legislation actually resulted in that. Well, I appreciate your time. Thank, Thank you. you.